fingertips smell like B.O. Hi, I'm Ken. I'm Mike. The, the Last, last of, us. of Us! Wait, Last of Us? The Last of Us. Last of Us. Oh. The Last of Us is a masterpiece. I think you shit a roll out. It's a third-person action-adventure horror. Mike, is it better than Bioshock Infinite? I can't say that. So the plot on this bad boy is that you play Joel, and you are escorting her across the U.S., and you're trying to get her to this resistance group called the Fireflies, where she'll be safe. And he has to defend her against these fungus zombies, basically. It was actually apparently spawned by uh, that Planet Earth documentary, mm -hmm. where the ant gets that fungus, and then he goes crazy, also battling cannibals and bandits and horrible people around you, and trying to get through this. This takes place 20 years after the infection occurred. First off, all I've been hearing about is how amazing the script is. How amazing is it mm -hmm. really? Is it that good? Is the story yeah. and the writing that good? In the first 15 minutes, I cried. What? Uh, I, cried I teared up. I didn't drop what? a load out of my eye, though. Yeah. Real men don't cry, and I never cry. And you never This game man. made me cry. Apparently it comes up that she has no idea what a job is, for instance. Right, like, because she, it. she was... It takes place 20 years after the infection happened, so... Kids are born without knowing what this world's like. Like, what, like, what is it like to have internet? And it's really cool to see that. Because video games. Video games. And it's cool because she has so much hope. And, and Joel is just like, fuck this. Cinematic game-wise, I'm talking about a game that's trying to also be a film at the same time. Yeah. It's the best one I've ever played. Mm -hmm. And like, I heard the best well, better than Uncharted. It's better than Uncharted. It's yeah. it's like everything they learned in Uncharted and that was wrong, they fixed it, brought it forward. I still feel though that we are seeing the limits of the PS3. And once in a while, the only thing I had a problem with was AI. There's two types of uh, zombies, actually. There's the, the clickers who, who've been infected for a very long time and mold actually grows on their face. And they can't see, so they click like a bat and like it's like a sonar, sonar. vision mm -hmm. and then there's the ones that have been infected recently and they're just like angry zombies like we've seen right? yeah. it's 28 days later essentially you know what jay what i'm gay uh i but, wish you were you know like 50 percent of the time Suck you're your dick i like take that offer Fifty percent of the time you're fighting infected, but the other fifty percent of the time you're just fighting other humans, which mm -hmm. is cool, right? Because yeah. I'm sick of zombies. I'm fucking. I'm gonna be super critical when War Z comes out, the movie. Yeah. I'm so fucking sick of zombie stories. The Last of Us does everything so well. I don't even consider it a zombie thing. Mm. It's like something else. Well, and I heard with the AI for the humans attacking and whatnot that they they called it dynamic stealth happens in it. So if, for instance, you run at, out of ammo or you get distracted by something, the AI will actually take advantage of that and yep. try to attack you sooner. Unlike yep. some games where yeah, they seem to kind of wait while you're getting attacked. Resources is key here. Like, you'll you'll have a bunch of times where you don't have any ammo. Um, you can build weapons. You can upgrade them. You can put, like, scissors on melee weapons. Okay, and what's your opinion on the gameplay? It's, it's very unique. Go out, shoot everyone in the face. Or you can be stealthy. It turns from, like, Splinter Cell into Uncharted. In, in any moment you wanted to. And it depends if you're fighting the humans or the clickers. Like, if you're going into a room full of clickers, you don't want to go in there just shooting. You can do that if you have enough resources, but then the game's really about decisions. You hold R trigger, R2, and it lets you... R2-D2. And it lets you see around you where people are. So if they're making louder noises, you actually see them. So you, you kind of assess the situation. You look at your inventory and you're like, Oh crap, I have to bash this one in the head, but then that one's gonna get me. So what do I do here? And the pause, I heard like if you go to the pause or if you go to try to make something, nothing pauses in the game. It no, just no. Going. it's no. zombie you. Just really. No, cool. and but in melee weapons, they wear down and they break, and like you might have an awesome pipe with like a uh, scissors at the end of it, and if you use that eight times, you're yep. done. You have so to get another one. It's, it essentially is zombie you. It is zombie you at some points because. In Zombie U, you go into your little bug sack and you make your little things. In this, it's the same thing, except there's no screen. It's the exact same thing. But it's I'm, executed perfect. It's, well, it's, yeah, it's the <laughs> same exact yeah. mechanic. And the other thing about the clickers is they kill you instantly. Yeah, you basically have to sneak up and like crack their neck or blow them in the face. Well, there's so many options. <laughs> if you don't you shoot them, you, you burn them. You can stab them in the neck with a shiv. You can break their necks. You can grab them and kick them in the face. You can uh, throw them against the wall. I had, like, a, I had a situation where 
I had to kill a clicker, but you ca I had nothing. You can't just go up and punch them like some enemies. I had to, <laughs> I had to seek. I had to secretly go around and like find objects to put together, and I, eventually I made a shiv, and then I could get them. If you're a hoarder, you're rewarded. If you go in every little cubby and cabinet and find everything, yeah. you're rewarded. You gotta go everywhere. So there's another thing in the game, which are pills. You find them, they're sort of like medicine, and that's your upgrade system. Yeah, so those are hard to find. It's very hard to find, because you could upgrade your stamina, your ability to heal faster, uh, all sorts of different things. And the then on top of it, there's also little like trinkets and pieces of metal you pick up, and you find a workbench, which doesn't even happen that often. And you can actually make your gun shoot faster, reload faster. Yeah. You can also find manuals to make your explosives stronger and stuff like that. Like, mm. So yeah, you really gotta search and find stuff. And another thing is, even though this game is linear, it feels open world almost. There's a lot of places to explore and like the ruins of Boston are actually kind of pretty in a way. Like yeah, everything's like amazing. green and yeah. like well, because it's like I'm Legend, where everything's sort of taken back exactly to the city. Exactly like that, yeah. But, but this is even better than that. But I hear it like it's it's like 28 Days Later. It's like Children of Men. It's it's like mm -hmm. the Road. It's like The Walking Dead, all wrapped into one. It is. It really is like they took every like little essence of those films and everything else and put it into this. It's so perfectly executed. You could say the same about Bioshock Infinite. It's a perfect game, except some people find the repetitive combat. The AI in this are a little wonky at times. Sometimes they'll walk into you and go like this and keep trying to walk. Yeah. And 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 what pisses me off is they actually stop you. So there's like there's cases where I want to pick something up, but Ellie's like right there and I'm like, move, move. And she just goes like this. Like it's a glitch. Unfortunately, that did happen a lot, like to me. Yeah. While I was playing, I just noticed the AI was like walking to a wall and then just like going like this. What I was really impressed with was multiplayer was super super fun and everything that you learn in the campaign you have to use those skills in multiplayer. If you just go out running and gunning you're gonna die really quickly so you have to you know get that gear and get that piece of tape and like get that tape. yeah and yeah it's really cool the way they did it. Right off the bat you pick a side either the fireflies or the hunters. And there's only two game modes, which is essentially team deathmatch, both of them. One version, your team has uh, a certain number of respawns, and the other version, once you die, you can't respawn, that's mm. it. And I'm sure new modes are gonna come out, but those two modes are just enough. And there's so much depth in that, and there's like these stories that, even though it's not like cinematics and stuff, it's just like, just on the screen you read the stories, and yeah. like, week one, week two. Yeah, and they're good. Yeah, it's cool, uh, <coughs> the, way, the way they did that. And it's not like Uncharted multiplayer where you're like, oh, this is cool, I can do all the stuff in single player, but you know, it doesn't feel like the single player gameplay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This does. I feel that the stories, is the best story you're gonna get on the PS3 exclusives. You're not gonna get anything better than this. Gameplay, there's so many different facets of gameplay in this. It's disgusting, it's ridiculous how they, they got it all in there. And the game, graphically, is the best looking game by far on the PS3. Mm. You, it doesn't get better than this. There's nothing. Now that Naughty Dog created this game, they have gone up there with the greatest developers ever. It's by far their best game they've ever made. Mm. Can't wait for PS4 on uh, part two for this. And I guess the true debate is, what's game of the year? What's going to be game of the year? Mm. Infinite or this? And it's going to be a very, very, very tough decision. It's and awesome that they, they finished this generation with this game on the PS3, and I still think... It's worth to get a PS3 if you don't have it just oh God. for this game. It literally, if you go to the store and you buy it all in a bundle, yeah. it's worth it. It's like, totally worth it. Thank you to ANC Games for giving us the copies of this. Thank and, you. And uh, guess what's next? Uh, hey, Half-Life 3. Half-Life 3. Good luck on HL3. Don't, don't touch me. Hey, good luck on HL3. Thank you. Mm, good luck on Valve's HL3. Oh, you're welcome. Alright, go. I on. got watchdogs! Most of the time you play. <laughs>